Welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So today we're doing something I've never actually succeeded in doing before, but something that I did embark on when I was about 15-ish, maybe 16, maybe 16, um, which is making some crucible steel or wits steel. Um, so, so what I've got here is crucible with lid, it's a graphite lid, um, quick turning job that I did from some scraps. I have 220 grams of wrought iron saw swarf from the power hacksaw from cutting up the hammerheads. Link down below to that. Um, so that's it's got a little bit of um, cutting oil in it. So I'm hoping that will burn out or at least volatilize out in the early stages of the heating. Um, I've got, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I've got about two grams, it's just slightly over two grams of graphite as my carbon source and mixed in with that I have about 25 parts per million, uh, no, about 100 parts per million of uh, neodymium as a carbide former and I think there's about 12 parts per million of titanium, that's by weight. Um, simply because when I was reading up on this as a child, titanium was mentioned as one of the defining features, traces of, and higher than would be normal for a contaminant. Um, so I'm going to go with that. I don't have access to the other alloying elements at this point, so I don't have any vanadium, manganese or um, molybdenum, which are all good carbide formers. Um, but I do have the neodymium, so we'll go with that. Um, and here I've got some crushed glass just to help seal it in if the lid doesn't quite hold up to the firing. It's um, fairly low grade industrial graphite that I've turned for this, so very coarse grained. Um, I will be using the Coke Forge running charcoal the surround I've built to contain the now vertical fire is made out of bricks. Um, I'm hoping it'll hold up for the couple of hours that it needs to. I previously used bricks in the forge to create a forging channel to create a, a fire of a, des of a desired shape. Um, link up here to where I did that with building the 15th century post anvil. Anyway, let's stop waffling. Um, let's start loading the crucible and um, we will see how we go. I am hopeful, because the graphite isn't particularly well crushed, um, that it is sufficiently crushed. So this in, get it packed down a bit, get some of the glass on top, get the lid on it and um, see about getting this thing up and running. Is this packing down necessary? Um, probably not really, but I do want to exclude as much air as I can. And this charge is a bit big for these crucibles. If I leave it uncompacted, I won't be able to get the glass in. Now the purpose of the glass is simply to melt down, keep oxygen away from the carbon. 
and I'm putting the glass down to keep this carbon from infusing too much into the ingot um, so that we keep to that approximately 1, 1.1%. So, there's that. Um, and let's go over to the forge slash furnace now. still quite warm so we've got quite a lot of so we started off about this level so we've obviously melted down quite a bit glass has turned green as you'd expect well, that's still very warm all right let's find some tools and get into this thing okay I don't think we were as successful as we thought we were it's quite porous looking um, looks very very porous but it is quite solid um, so I don't know we'll need to let that cool off a bit more and potentially remelt that if we can all right so we're gonna open it oh well these bricks are holding up not terribly well. Mm, the crucible state. Not terribly slagged. Well down, so that's good. Better run than last time. I have to level this thing. See if we can get this one out. Okay, as you can hear, the forge is coming up to temperature. Um, we've got the first billet, which is a bit porous. 
um, weld it to a little bit of a handle. Uh, so we're going to get this hot and then we're going to see how it forges. So this is our second one. It's 450 something grams. Not sure where we lost some. I'm suspecting oil and miscellaneous crap that was in with the um, wrought iron axle swarf. Um, we will get this hot, we will forge this out in the near future. It has very nice dendrites, so I'm quite keen to see how this one goes. The other one, can't really see any dendrites in the surface. It is a little bit porous, um, and I have no idea what the carbon content is because, well, it's a very uncontrolled process the way I did these two. Looking at building a proper furnace for this in the very near future. So, the other one's coming up to temperature. Soon we'll get it out and uh, we'll see how it behaves under the hammer. jacket that will hold it from cracking and falling apart. Um, yeah, so the first bill has got some cracks in it. I'm still working it down, but it's not seeming to come apart anymore. Um, or getting any worse. So, uh, we'll just keep tapping away at it. Okay, so that takes us to the end of this first little visitation to uh, Woods steel making. Um, now, I know to roast these. I've known that since I was probably 14 or 15 when I first tried this. Why I didn't roast this one, I will never know. Um, but as you can see in the photos at the end, it's cracked and it cracked from the very start, like from literally the second heat, there were cracks. And yeah, I'm still kicking myself. I don't know why I didn't do what I should have done. 
That said, it will just go into the next charge um, and will give me a good head start, about 180 grams worth of head start, so to speak, um, which is fine. Um, this one, on the other hand, has been roasted. It's had about two hours at about 900, maybe 1,000 degrees. Uh, I would like to have a temperature controlled environment in which to roast them and so that I've got better control over that process. But for now, I'll just have to judge temperature by eye in the, um, the forge. I'm hoping two hours is enough. Um, we'll see in the near future. If it isn't enough, um, it will just go into another melt as a head start. Um, it will be part of a larger charge. I've got some bigger crucibles on order, um, simply because I found the crucibles that I was using, the small ones, um, were a little bit awkward and I felt like there's a lot of energy going into to making a very small amount of steel, um, which I don't think is quite as economical as people think. So, like I said, that's what I'm leaving off. Um, if you've enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. And if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. When you do, don't forget, ring the notification bell. So get out to your shop, push your envelope, do something you've not really done before. But above all, stay safe, and I will catch you for the next one.